Hey, it's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Boxer Boxing. Now, my boy, Connor Ben, man. <laughs> son of Nigel Ben, man. Son of a goat, man. Son of a legend over there in the UK slash Australia. The guy, he fought Adrian Granados, man. And he completely dominates uh, Adrian Granados by just outworking Granados, man. There was times in the fight where Connor Ben is just more aggressive. Uh, for the most of the fight, uh, Adrian Granados is on his back pedal, moving around the ring. And Conor Bain was just pressuring him, man, relentless. He didn't let on on, on uh, Adrian Granados, and that got him a unanimous decision win for Adrian Granados. Now, that all being said, man, my boy Conor Bain has been calling the big dogs out here in America. Um, he wants the biggest name there is in America, and he called out Adrian Broner and the welterweight division. Now, boxing-wise, at the highest level, we all know who the real best is, you know, the Earl Smith Juniors you know the terrence bud crawford's but there's levels to this right so connor bean wants to build his way up to the top and adrian broner is a good guy to do it in why well adrian broner he's known as a small welterweight which he is a small welterweight right the, uh, adrian broner is a four division world champion and uh the welterweight division is his fourth division it's his highest division he ever went to he never went past 147. so that being said uh, the size advantage would definitely go to Conor Ben and it suits his style because he's so aggressive. Adrian Broner, will he really fight back against the hyper aggressive Conor Ben? Lord knows, man. Lord knows. But Conor Ben is with Matchroom Boxing and Eddie Hearn. And are they going to fork up the money, the big dollars it's going to cost to get AB in the ring? Because believe me, Adrian Broner is going to want 10 M's to get in the ring with Conor Ben. You know, a more, real, more realistic fight for Conor Ben is someone like a. You know, Josecito Lopez or something like that. Maybe a Danny Garcia, you know, uh, maybe in the future a Sean Porter. That'd be a really good fight. But the AB, you're going to pay a lot of money and a lot of people are going to be bored to death because Broner's not going to really show up because Broner's known for not, to not let his hands go in you like he used to, uh, pre Marcus Madonna. Now, that being said, man, you know, we're going to see how the whole, the whole thing plays out with Conor Ben. Maybe he wants the easy fight. Maybe he wants AB not to show up just so he can get uh, a name on his record. Because, uh, you know, Matchroom and Matchroom Fighters have been coming to America like the, um, like the Dillian White. I think Dillian White is with, um, possibly with uh, Eddie Hearn now. I'm not too sure about that. But I know he signed with his own. Uh, De uh, Dillian White was a free agent for sure for a while. So I'm not too sure what his status is right now. But they're moving their fighters. The UK fighters are moving their fighters over here in America, and they're getting big UK American fights now. So Conor Ben can that be his American debut? AB, that'd be a good fight for him, uh, just to get his feet wet in America. And but me personally, I'd like to see him versus uh, Danny Garcia, just because Danny Garcia completely dominated Adrian Granados and stopped him in the seventh round. It'd be a much more entertaining fight, and Conor Ben has yet to be in a 50-50 fight where, you know the odds are more tilted toward his opponent. I would definitely favor Danny Garcia versus Conor Ben because with Danny Garcia, he knocked out Adrian Granados. And he did it, he made it look pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, bro, uh, Ad, uh, Danny Garcia doesn't really waste punches and he's pretty precise in his combinations. And he's a hook master at 147. You know, maybe at the highest level when they have a chin, they can they can take the punch. But the Granados of the world, you know, Danny Garcia can stop those guys. Conor Ben, versus Danny Garcia. This would be like a, almost like a Danny Garcia versus Sean Porter all over again. But the UK Sean Porter is the Conor Ben. So we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out, man. Conor Ben, he's always been my radar. Uh, a lot of people have him top three, at least his top contender slash prospect coming up. They have um, Gerald, Gerald, Jaron Boots Innes, Virgil Ortiz and Conor Ben, right? So, you know, Conor Ben, the guy, their guy coming up from the UK. And he stands alone right now. There's not really any other UK fighter at 147 making big noise like Conor Ben is, who's fighting these top American fighters, you know? So, you know, Conor Ben, he's looking good out here. Uh, really aggressive fighter. Uh, really good stamina. Does not get tired. And I was really I was really impressed with his stamina tonight versus Adrian Granados, man. So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out with Granados and Conor Ben. The winner, obviously, their career goes further from here. And the loser, you know, they're going to take a back seat. And, yeah, man, big, big fight, man. I suggest you guys watch the fight. Uh, if you guys actually just type in Conor Ben versus Adrian Granados, Granados full fight, 
it'll pop up it'll pop up so you know you're not gonna get the best quality but you're gonna get to see the fight <laughs> so anyway let me know you guys feel about it though who you guys want Conor Ben fighting next do you guys want to see him fighting these big dogs at 147 or uh, like these former world champions or do you guys want to see him fight his uh contender slash peer in uh the Virgil Ortiz Jr. or Jer Jaren Boots Ennis right let me know you guys feel about it though like comment subscribe it's the empire geoblasting empire peace